A very warm welcome from Admin Keeper. My name is Tony, and in this video, we'll show you how to look after your employees, their, keep a record of their wage types and payments, and show you how to make pay slips for them. So, we start off by going to Contacts and Employees. We can see a list of our employees down the left hand side here and their information on the right. This gentleman called Jack Bradford is highlighted, and we can see his contact information here and his wage information here. And if we make a new employee, uh, we can um, make this more clear. So let's say our employee is called Fred Dibner. We put his address in there. And his home phone number. mobile number for applicable and email address. Now the important things like his um, NI number for example, his tax code which obviously he needs to give you. Now we get the option of how he is paid. Is he paid um, by a basic salary which is a fixed amount per year or is it an hourly rate type salary? So let's say this uh, this gentleman's hourly rate paid at once a month. Let's say his hourly rate is um, twenty-two pounds an hour. We save that information, and it's all here. So you just fill in all of your employees and yourself in this list, and that's ready to use in our payment part of our accounts. So if we click the accounts button and wait for it to load up. And then we'll go to the wage section. And I'll show you how simple it is to create a wage. So I'll click the wage tab, load straight up. I'm going to add a new wage. Let's start say we start by paying Jack. You select the person, you select the date, and that's it. Very, very simple. You can see here the tax and national insurance number. You can see a summary of his net pay, his basic pay, which is £2,000 a month. You can see we've calculated that the income tax will be £275.42. National insurance will be £122.96. That means his total stoppages are £398.38, leaving him a net pay of £1,601.62. If uh, Jack needs a different types of payment as well as his basic payment, clicking this button here uh, allows you to enter different types of payment and whether they're taxed or not, because some payments are taxed, some aren't. In the same way, you can enter deductions in here and you can add different deduction types here as well if required. So they all go onto the bottom line. So, But in this case, Jack has just got a normal pay. You can save him. The information is saved to the database, uh, a PDF file is generated and emailed to you, and we can see what his wage slip would look like by highlighting uh, the entry we want, opening it using the blue button, and we can see he's been paid £6,000 across uh, the three pay periods. In this pay period he's been paid £2,000, stoppages 398.38, this breaks down for tax and national insurance, the date, the tax code and the person and his net pay. So this is a printable or savable uh, PDF file which has been emailed to you but you can also save it and print it from here. So you can pass it along to Jack. So that kind of payment is quite straightforward. Um, if we pay our new employee called Fred Dibner, again we select the date it's a little bit different because here we need to say how many hours he's worked. Now this is this is a, a monthly period. He might have worked 120 hours in that month. We enter it here, and then we can save that wage, and it calculates out for us um, how much is taxable pay: two thousand six hundred and forty pounds. How much? income tax, how much national insurance, how much
how much stoppage is, what the net pay is, and again we can look at his pay slip. Bearing in mind this is his first and only payment, so um, total payments and tax to date are the same. We can see how the tax and the sh national insurance break down, how many units and the unit rate that we've paid him, and what his net pay is. So that's how we do wages using Admin Keeper. Very straightforward. Most of the time, select the employee, select the date, that's it, you're done. We thank you for watching this video. Um, if you have any questions, please email us or call us, and we'll be happy to try and help. But this is Tony from Admin Keeper saying thank you very much and goodbye.